Hello my dear students, I welcome you all to my channel. So today's topic is very simple and very interesting and name of the chapter is Linear in Equations. Okay, so this is your chapter number 15. Okay, so before we go into the exercise, let us understand the very few basic terms that we need in linear in equations. So the first thing that we are going to learn or understand here is about sets okay so although there is a chapter there on sets okay so we before we learn that particular chapter we'll learn few basic terms okay so for example what is the meaning of sets okay so set means as the name suggests it is a group okay so that group is always represented in a curly bracket okay so first and foremost we are learning about sets and sets means it is a group of objects okay and those objects will be placed inside this bracket for example if i ask you write the set of vowels then what do you do you will create a bracket like this and put all the vowels inside this for example a e i o u so this is the set of vowels okay for example Another example I am giving you is, I am asking you, write the even single digit natural number. Hope the thing is clear to you. Write the set of, okay, so whenever they are asking you write the set, make this bracket ready, okay, and you have to put all the even numbers which are single digit and the single digit even natural number please remember okay natural number means it will be 2 4 6 and 8 okay so these are the single digit natural numbers which are even numbers okay so this is the set of such numbers okay so have you understood the sets sets means it is a group okay and that group has to be kept inside curly bracket okay and they have to be well defined you have to define it as well for example as i said it has to be what it has to be a natural number and it has to be even number so that's how i have defined it and similarly here i said i didn't just say set of alphabets i said it has to be a set of vowels so that's why set of vowels means i have defined it right so that's why it has to be well defined as well so this is all about sets now the very important part from sets is the notations okay so we have got few standard notations that we need to remember for example here n okay so n means set of natural numbers okay so this represents set of natural numbers okay fine now you may see sometimes w so w stands for set of whole numbers okay so let's talk about what are natural numbers as well so natural number always start with one okay so it is like one next is two three four and continues okay it has no end but the beginning has to be always one fine so this is my natural number now whole numbers will also be like natural number but the beginning will be zero always in case of whole numbers so it will be zero one two three and it continues all right so what is the difference between natural number and whole number both are same but in whole numbers we have got zero extra fine now next is integers okay so integers sometimes can be written as z and sometimes it can be written as i as well so both the z and i represents integers okay so integers are represented as set of Okay, so they are set of what? They are positive and negative, negative numbers. Okay, so what kind of numbers? Let's talk about that as well. For example, this 0, okay, so 0 has to be inside this set, okay. It has to be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3 and it continues so this kind of set is known as set of integers okay so here we have got plus one positive number 
minus 1 as well that is negative number plus 2 positive minus 2 negative plus 3 positive minus 3 negative okay so it continues in that way okay and the last one that is very very important for us for in for class 8 linear in equations is real number okay so real number means set of all possible numbers so basically this is a combination of all these possible numbers okay and real numbers can never be written in this way remember can never be written in this way but real numbers are rep or real set okay set of real numbers are represented always by a line and we call it real line okay and you have already come across this line isn't it so the zero will be in the middle here we'll have minus one it will go on this way minus two one two three so it continues in this way okay so this is called a real line so set of real numbers will never be represented in this way they always represent it in this way okay that is you have to represent them in a line okay so having understood this now let us move on to something called replacement set okay okay so there's something called replacement set and one more set is there that is called solution set okay so there's one more called solution set okay now uh, for example uh, let us take this and from here if I ask you to form any set okay so out of this element you have to form any set and in that set there has to be exactly two you two elements for example I am forming this set and I am choosing any two okay so any two means let me choose E and O okay so I have chosen E and O and I have formed a set out here so basically what is happening this particular set is derived from this isn't it okay so that means can I say this to be the father of this yes okay so basically replacement set is a set okay and solution set will be a part of this okay so basically replacement set is the father of solution set that's what is the meaning of replacement set and solution set okay for example if I give you replacement set to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so you may have your solution set to be for example only this much that is 1 2 3 and 4 all right so this is what the meaning of replacement set and solution set now let us go next to the um, notations or symbols okay so in in equations in in equations okay, there are four kinds of notations or symbols that you need to remember okay so one is called greater than okay so greater than is always represented at this for example we know that 2 is greater than or let me write 20 is greater than 1 yes okay so this is the meaning of this okay so 20 is greater than 1 now if you are not able to remember this okay what you need to do is how many points are there there are two points yes and here is a only one point out here yes so basically here we have got two points here we have got one point that means that's why this is greater than okay so this is greater than one okay so this side whatever you write will be greater than this that's what is the meaning of this now this is my greater than sign next is less than sign okay so next is less than so less than means here is only one point and here we have got two points so whatever number comes here will be less than this for example one is less than three okay one point is there we have got two points out here so whichever number comes this side has to be bigger so this means one is smaller or less than one okay so fine next is greater than okay with that we'll put equal to so this is called greater than or equal to and similarly we have this is less than and again we'll put equal to okay so these are the different notations that we need to understand here okay so having understood this much 
Now let us see some properties of inequalities or in equations. Okay, so let's see some properties now. Okay, so the first property says if A is greater than B, as I said, there's a greater than sign. So if A is greater than B, then we can have A plus C or if I add both sign, both side by same number. For example, here I have added C, here also I have added C. So there is no change in the sign. Remember that. Okay, for example, for example, let me take 2 is, we know that 2 is greater than 1. Okay, let me add same number on the both side. Okay, so that is C and C. Let me take C to be for example 5. So if I add 5 out here, so we have 2 plus 5 and this side we have 1 plus 5. How much is this? This is 7 and this is how much? This is 6. Now which one is greater? Greater is 7. So 7 is greater than 6. So there is no change in the sign. Okay, similarly we have the same with less than as well. For example, 1 is less than 3. So let me add 4 on both sides. Okay, so 1 plus 4 and this side it becomes 3 plus 4. So this is my 5 and this is my 7. Now which one is less? This is less. So that's why 5 is less than 7. So there is no change in the sign. So basically in a given inequality, whichever number you add on both sides, that will not affect the sign that is greater than or less than. Okay, It will remain the same. All right. Second property says, if I subtract same number from both sides, still the sign will remain the same. For example, let me take only one example for you. There are lots of examples given in your book. You can have a look at that. For example, uh, let me take 5 is greater than 3. Yes, let us subtract same number on both the side. For example, let me subtract 2. So if I subtract 2, then it becomes 5 minus 2 and here it becomes 3 minus 2. How much is this? This is my 3 and this is my 1. Yes, and still 3 is greater than 1. Yes, so I have subtracted both sides by the same number. But still the sign is same. See, this is greater than, this is also greater than. So that's what is my second property. So next uh, property, okay, so this is my P3, I guess, yes. Okay, so P3 says, if I multiply both side by a positive number, that is C, then still the sign will remain the same. For example, let me take 5 is greater than 2. Let me choose any positive number now. For example, 3, yes, 3 is a positive number. So 3, we need to multiply both side by that particular number. So 3 into 5 is 15. 3 into 2 is 10. What is the sign? Sign is 15 is greater than 10. Still the sign remains the same. That's what is the meaning of this. Okay. Okay. So in the next case, we will do the same. That is multiplication. But this time multiplication will be done by a negative number. For example, if I multiply both side by a negative number, this sign that is greater than becomes less than. Okay. And less than becomes greater than. How? Let us take one example. For example, 2 is greater than 1. Let us multiply both sides by negative number. For example, minus 1. Okay, so minus 1 into 2. Okay, so minus 1 into 2. And here also I am doing minus 1 into 1. I have multiplied both sides by negative number minus 1. How much is this? This is minus 2. Yes, and how much is this? This is minus 1. And now, you know that whichever number okay so let me write down this we know that whichever number is in the left is smaller compared to the number which are in the right for example one is in the left of two so that's why one is less similarly zero is in the left of one so that's why zero is less that's why minus two is in the left of minus one so that's why minus two is less than minus one okay see here I multiplied with negative, it was all earlier greater than, now it became less than. Okay, so that's what is the meaning of this. Okay, so basically, whenever you multiply with a negative number, greater than becomes less than and less than becomes greater than. Okay, so you need to be very clear with this as this is very, very important. Okay, so next property is the division case. So, now this time I'm dividing with a positive number. So whenever you divide both sides by a positive number, still the sign remains the same. 
okay for example let me take uh, 4 is greater than 2 let me divide both side by 2 because 2 is a positive number so 4 by 2 2 by 2 so 4 by 2 is 2 2 by 2 is 1 and we know that 2 is greater than 1 so what happened sign remains the same so that means whenever you divide both side by a positive number sign will always remain the same okay fine now if I change it let me make it p6 so this is my last property that is if I divide both side by a negative number then again the sign reverses for example let me take the same example so 4 is greater than 2 let me divide both side by negative number that is minus 2 okay so we have so this is how much this is minus 2 and this is how much this is minus 1 and we know that from early example we know that minus 2 is less than minus 1 okay see sign has reversed if I divide it both side by a negative number okay so these are the main properties that you need to remember and if you are comfortable with these many things then our work is going to be very very simple okay so with this we close for the day in the next class we'll see the exercise okay thank you very much